Hello guys, more for it, and I am buzzing, because I just hit a triple spaz on our eyes, which I'm pretty happy about. So yeah, I'll just get right into it. Story of 5 here, and what it's going to be about is radio waves, basically where black, or whatever colour lines you want, just sort of come out, um, and we'll mask around something, so it looks like it's coming behind it. It'll look 3D and it'll look pretty professional as well. Right, also, um, just a quick update, um, my... Uh, thanks for 2k video seemed to get a lot of dislikes because of the editing so my mate Tom he did actually say that he didn't spend much time on it and he could have done better but a lot of the subs were wanting me to um, re-edit it myself so I'm going to do that on Friday so yeah and also if you want this desktop background because a lot of you are cool I'll just upload it to um, file f game front now isn't it yeah game front played Right, so anyway, yeah, I'll get along with it. I use After Effects CS3 for this one. I'm not sure if your CS4 will work, but my CS4 don't work for this particular effect. I've no idea why. Right, basically what you want to do first is you want to put your clip in, and then make composition, make a new composition about 4 seconds long. Put um, your clip in and then make it, not make it, put Twixter on it. So, and then if you don't know how to get smooth Twixter, so this is pretty smooth, then you can go watch my tutorial 4. I think I... Yeah, I do. I briefly cover Twixter in that one, so you get a rough idea of how it works. Right, so we'll start off, what you want to do, I'm going to click Layers here, because mine's just weird. Then go up here, Layer, Pre-Compose, and then make sure that Move All Attributes into the new composition is ticked. So after it's done this, you have to get the pen tool from up there and just draw a mask around this. Obviously, it better than this. At the moment we can just see that, so that's what we want at the moment. You want to duplicate it, and on the very, uh, on the bottom one, sorry, press M, delete the mask. So M for monkey. Yeah, no offense, Tim. <laughs> right. Uh, now I just said that because my mate, we call him a chimp because he looks a bit like one. Yeah. Then you want to <laughs> go to layer, new solid, and make a new solid, and then. So make sure the width is 1280, height 720, colour black, and then do that. Then type into here radio. And it'll come up with radio waves. You could just go effects, generate radio waves. So yeah, put that on. At the moment, all we've got is that. So that's not really what we want, is it? Turn the render quality up to 16. Um, and then. Hmm. Yes, click click down the stroke, go to colour, and then click black, or white, whatever colour you want, it's up to you. And then t tick wave motion down, I think this is already at, like open on CS4, I'm not sure. Turn the lifespan down if you want, so I'd have it about 3.5. Um, the frequency could maybe go up a little bit. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. And the expansion. Mm, you just play around with it until you feel, until you think that it's pretty good. So yeah, then what you want to do is right, that'll do for top. Drag this in between the two things. So basically, if I just move this black solid, move the radio waves, then it looks like it's coming from behind the gun. Obviously, when you mask it better, it will look like it literally is like perfectly coming from behind the gun. But there's a rough idea of that there. So. I think that's about it, really. Actually, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I could um, do something else here, just to make it, just to make it look a bit nicer. So, what I want to do is, actually, done this. Then highlight them all, or just Control, 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 click on them all, or just Shift, and then drag to the top one. There's plenty of ways to select them all. Yeah, d that doesn't really matter. Then pre-compose all this. So layer pre-compose, move all attributes into the new composition. And then when, you, when you're on this bit, you want to make a new adjustment layer. And then up here where it says rectangle tool, just grab that. And then this is, this is just pretty basic. This just sort of like put this over your gun. So that basically covers it. Oh, no, no, no. You want the hand to be covered as well. You could also mask around it, but I think the square just makes it look more realistic how it's focused on one spot. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so type in here. Gauze, 
short for Gaussian blur, drag that on. Then turn it up to 7. Obviously that looks stupid. So you want to change the mask to subtract. Then click down arrow next to mask and then turn the feather up. I'd turn it up to about 100. So if you just look at that now, maybe turn the blur down to about 5. I don't know, it's up to you. So sort of really that looks like a camera's just say you've got a camera out or a video recorder you've just focused on that sniper and then the background there is blurred out the background there is blurred out and then the wall there is just sort of not blurred out just because it's closer to the target thing so yeah i hope that's helped um if it hasn't well it should do <laughs> but if you've had any problems then just um leave a comment tell me what they are and i'll just definitely help you out. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any tutorials about getting presets or plugins or programs but um, yeah I don't know. Uh, I might do. So yeah anyway I might do for the next tutorial one on 3D texting After Effects because I know that most of you don't have um, Cinema 4D or Photoshop or s stuff like that so yeah if you want that then just I'll probably leave a comment and then if you get several thumbs up then I'll do that for the number six. Or if you've got any other ideas, yeah I'm dragging on so yeah, see you later.